Many of us enjoy the warmth of a furnace. Others are on high alert with their livestock living outside. And I was curious about what preparations animal owners have to take ahead of these snowstorms. Our Sam Kramer took a trip out east and Sam, that work begins days in advance. Yeah, well, if you think about it, a lot of families make that last minute trip to the grocery store for essentials. And as it turns out, those living with livestock, it's really not that much different for them, except their family includes dozens more horses, cattle and other animals. When your livelihood depends on animals, it's honestly a little nerve wracking. Incoming snowstorms are nothing to mess with. And it's why the Colorado Horse Rescue Network in eastern El Paso County takes preparations seriously. We've got 60 or 100 other animals that we uh, need to make sure are going to be able to take this cold weather. They've also been through this before. Our Bill Folsom was there when drifts nearly topped their fences back in January. And then you're seeing the other issue here. These sheep were down, now they're up here. In the hours and days leading up to the expected snowfall, Carrie Taru Barrett and company crisscross her ranch, making sure every animal has enough to eat and drink from the horses to the calves and everything in between. We got to make sure that everybody's got a lot of hay put in front of them because that's how most of these livestock animals stay warm is by eating hay. The animals themselves also seek protection from the wind, whether it's running in from open fields or wearing blankets in the meantime. Either way, ranch hands work around the clock to ensure their livestock are taken care of, both before and after the storm. It's your livelihood, you know, if you, if you lose a cow, that's quite a bit, you know, whether it's going in your freezer or whether it's going in the bank, either way, you're going to lose out on stuff. Now, of course, the same applies for cats and dogs, but more on the importance of food, food rather. Horses eat between 25 and 50% more of their normal diet to stay warm in the winter months. So if you're interested in helping organizations like the Colorado Horse Rescue Network to maintain those feeding, visit our website for more. That's KOAA.com. For now, always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.